The National Kidney Foundation estimates that over 37 million Americans are unaware that they have kidney disease, according to the American Kidney Fund. It's alarming to learn that CKD is the ninth most common cause of death in the U.S. alone. Imagine now that the key to fixing and curing your kidney problems is concealed in a single vitamin bottle that is stashed away in your cabinet. The dangerous illness known as chronic kidney disease, or CKD, causes the kidneys to progressively deteriorate over time. The kidneys are crucial in the removal of waste and extra fluid from the body. When they malfunction, dangerous substances can build up in the bloodstream and cause kidney damage. One mild indicator of kidney damage is proteinuria, also referred to as albuminuria, a condition in which proteins are found in the urine. If left untreated, proteinuria can cause serious health problems. Fortunately, there is a vitamin that can help your kidneys battle proteinuria more successfully. This video will disclose the potent vitamin that, thanks to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant qualities, can rapidly cure or repair kidney damage and end proteinuria. We'll talk about how consuming this vitamin can significantly improve kidney health. Thus, you've come to the right place if you're searching for a possible way to help your kidneys and enhance your general health. We'll dissect the science underlying this powerful vitamin by exposing its incredible health advantages and highlighting some delicious foods high in this vitamin that can support kidney health. The effects of proteinuria on the kidneys. The crucial function of your kidneys is to filter blood, removing waste materials and excess water, which is then excreted as urine. However, if your kidneys are damaged, proteins may get past the filters and end up in your urine, a disease known as proteinuria. Depending on the underlying reason, proteinuria can present in different ways. For instance, proteinuria may be sporadic in certain renal diseases, while it may be regular in others. The quantity of protein lost can also differ greatly, ranging from minute amounts to substantial volumes. The initial step in identifying kidney disease before symptoms show up may be a routine urine test. Although this may seem scary, it allows you and your doctor to treat the underlying problem before significant harm is done. The recommended range for protein content in a urine sample is 0 to 14 minks slash dull. But this can change according on the time of day and the amount of liquid an individual has taken in. A 24-hour urine collection method is commonly used to measure proteinuria. Levels under 80 mg per day are regarded normal while values over 80 mg per day are considered pathological. The three primary forms of proteinuria are transient, chronic, and orthostatic or postural proteinuria. Higher levels indicate a greater degree of severity and can help assess a person's risk for renal disease. Urine with an abnormally high protein content is indicative of a brief condition called transient proteinuria. Imagine it as a short-lived, unexpected celebration happening in your urinal. Normally, your kidneys effectively filter your blood, keeping important components like proteins and removing waste. But in cases of temporary proteinuria, certain proteins pass through the kidney filters and end up in your urine. Fortunately, temporary proteinuria is not a chronic illness. This kind of proteinuria is commonly seen in pregnant women Hand, on the plus side, usually presents no serious concerns. It often resolves on its own, allowing your body to return to its regular functions with your kidneys, continuing their amazing job as an effective filtration system. When proteinuria persists for more than a few weeks, it is usually an indication of chronic renal disease or other persistent kidney-related problems. Treatment for persistent proteinuria varies depending on the underlying reason. Common culprits include illnesses like diabetes, high blood pressure, and chronic kidney disease, coupled with taking specific medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, but usually entails making lifestyle changes, managing medications, and making sure the right vitamins are consumed in sufficient amounts. The third type of proteinuria is known as postural proteinuria, and it is caused by prolonged standing or sitting. 
The upright position increases pressure on the kidneys, which causes proteins to leak into the urine. Postural proteinuria is a relatively rare condition that primarily affects children and teens, but is usually not a sign of kidney problems and usually goes away on its own. Certain medications, high blood pressure, kidney disease, and underlying conditions like diabetes can also cause postural proteinuria. However, there's no need to worry interestingly. In the early stages of milder cases of proteinuria, many people may not notice any unusual symptoms. However, as the condition advances over time, symptoms may become more apparent. These symptoms can include foamy or bubbly urine, swelling in the hands, feet, belly, or face, fatigue, and so on. When a person with postural proteinuria lies down, there's a good chance the proteinuria will resolve itself. Low blood pressure and appetite. Rather than enduring the burden of frequent medical administration, there exists a potent vitamin that can efficiently aid in halting proteinuria and expediting kidney healing. This vitamin is none other than vitamin D. The fact that consuming vitamin D doesn't cause any negative side effects is its strongest feature. Based on observational studies of both healthy individuals and those with chronic kidney disease, vitamin D has been widely marketed as a useful supplement for those with this condition. Because vitamin D is a fat-soluble steroid, it has effects unrelated to bone health, such as enhancing glucose regulation, and it also helps prevent further damage to the kidneys, such as renal failure. Scientific studies have demonstrated the critical role that vitamin D plays in maintaining healthy kidney function, lowering the risk of heart disease and combating inflammation and excessive cell growth actually. Vitamin D also helps your body produce the proper amount of parathyroid hormone, PTA, which is necessary for strong bones and stable blood calcium levels when phosphorus and calcium levels rise or fall. Your parathyroid glands are tiny glands in your neck that produce PTH. Help is provided by PTH, which releases calcium into your bloodstream from your bones. High PTH levels have been linked to nephrocalcinosis, a condition where calcium crystals build up in the kidneys. This condition can cause proteinuria, which is the loss of protein in the urine due to damage to the filtration system caused by the accumulation of calcium crystals in the kidneys. In order to prevent secondary hyperparathyroidism, a condition in which the parathyroid glands become hyperactive, vitamin D also balances the levels of calcium and phosphorus in the bloodstream. This condition can lead to an accumulation of calcium along with other substances that can form kidney stones, such as oxalate phosphate or uric acid. This creates an environment that is conducive to kidney stone formation encouraging these substances to bind together and crystallize, ultimately leading to the development of kidney stones. On the other hand, when the body has enough vitamin D, it promotes adequate absorption and reabsorption of calcium and phosphorus, ensuring that kidney cells have the resources they need to carry out their functions. These minerals are essential for many cellular functions, such as energy production, cell signaling, and maintaining the integrity of cell membranes, all of which can support the preservation of kidney structure and function. It's crucial to recognize that high blood pressure poses a serious risk to your kidneys, and that high blood pressure can even lead to glomerular hypertension, a condition in which the blood pressure inside the kidney's tiny blood vessels becomes too high, damaging the glomerular filtration barrier and causing protein to accumulate in the urine. However, when you have enough vitamin D, your kidneys cannot produce renin, which helps lower blood pressure. In addition, the vitamin D receptor, or VDR, is a protein found in many different types of cells, including those in the kidneys. When activated by vitamin D, VDR can turn on or off certain genes that are involved in kidney function. This means less constricted blood vessels and less of the hormone aldosterone which also helps lower blood pressure in the body and kidneys. Fibrosis and inflammation. These conditions enhance the kidney's ability to function as filters and cells, which helps avoid proteinuria. Since oxidative stress is a major factor in kidney illness, 
Vitamin D's antioxidants shield the kidneys from it, reducing proteinuria. This occurs when the body's capacity to protect itself from reactive oxygen species, or ROSE, using antioxidants is out of balance. Not only does ROSE cause damage to the glomeruli by increasing their permeability and allowing protein to seep into the urine, but vitamin D also functions as an antioxidant to prevent ROSE from doing so. Source of vitamin D can also increase the activity of antioxidant enzymes such as glutathione peroxidase, superoxide dismutase, and catalase. These enzymes are vital for preventing proteinuria by neutralizing reactive oxygen species, ROAS, and maintaining proper chemical and cellular equilibrium. And did you know that there are different ways to obtain vitamin D? The primary source is exposure to sunlight, which is why it's also known as the sunshine vitamin. However, in many parts of the world, the sun's rays are insufficient to produce enough vitamin D, so you may need to obtain it from other sources. High-fat seafood like salmon and tuna, as well as fortified foods like orange juice and milk cereals, are good sources of vitamin D. Some mushrooms, such as lung oyster mushrooms, are also quite high in vitamin D. While there are many of vitamin D supplements available, some individuals may find that they are necessary. It's crucial to consume vitamin D in moderation, since it has numerous benefits for renal health and general wellness. Tell us how often you take vitamin D to prevent proteinuria and safeguard your kidney health. Your specific vitamin D requirements may vary depending on factors like age, skin tone, diet, and location. Consult your healthcare provider to determine the right dosage for you. They can assess your needs and provide advice on the safest intake level and the best way to obtain it. In conclusion, incorporating this vitamin into your daily routine could be the key to combating proteinuria and promoting kidney repair. Don't let proteinuria hold you back any longer. Take charge of your health today with this powerful solution. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful, share it with others who may benefit, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on improving your well-being. Together, let's work towards achieving healthier kidneys and a brighter future.